Hi everyone, I'm very excited to show you a video today about Gatsby.js, a extremely fast and well-optimized static site generator that enables you to build websites or web apps powered by React.js, GraphQL, Webpack, and other modern JavaScript technologies. The cool thing about Gatsby.js is that you don't have to really know about how to set up Webpack or GraphQL or all that stuff. Uh, Gatsby.js makes it very easy for you to focus on the content of your website instead of uh, try to set up all the boilerplates. So to show you an example of what sites are currently using Gatsby.js, as you can see in the example here, the actual React documentation website is built with Gatsby. And Stitch Fix is a very popular website, and Airbnb. So this, is, this technology is being used by a lot of big companies, and they are very, very efficient, and it allows you to create your website much, much faster. So today in this tutorial, I want to show you what Gatsby can do and give you an overall view of how we can set up a website and actually deploy it in, the, in our server in the end. So the first thing you need to do is to actually start a Gatsby project. So for, for us, we can, if you go to your project folder, roots, you, can, you need to install the Gatsby global CLI. So to do that, you need node and npm installed. And then all you have to do is do npm install dash dash global Gatsby CLI. Since I already have it installed, you I don't have to do it, but if you do this, you will have the Gatsby command in your command line. So once you have the command in your command line, you can start a new project by doing Gatsby new my static Gatsby sites. So this will install a default Gatsby project to your site. You know what, let me just do it for example, just so you guys can see. So if I do this, it will create a folder in where my folders are, and then it will install all the components or the packages and set up a default boilerplate for a new Gatsby project. So give it a second and it will load it in. The reason I'm very excited about Gatsby is that I actually use it for a Pentaco premium section. If you've ever visited the premium section on Pentaco, this static page here is what I built Gatsby with. So it's an extremely simple website where it links to a couple of lessons by West Boss, and you can use it to create things like that very easily and nicely. And the reason it is slow right now is because I'm actually doing the installation of the pra of the packages in the background. So um, we'll give it a second and then it will load everything. Once we get started, we can, we'll go over what the project structures all looks like and how I'll set, go walk you through the process of setting up a plugin or XR um, features for Gatsby. By default, it comes with uh, a set of default plugins, but uh, I want to show you how you can easily add in extra plugins to extend the power of Gatsby. So there we go, we're done. So here, if you go to our project folder and refresh it, you should see that there's going to be a new, uh, let me see, my static Gatsby sites. So if you uh, go to code, my static Gatsby sites. So this will open up code with uh, Gatsby. So this is the new project that I just installed. And as you can see, it's very, it comes with a default set of uh, files in there. So we're just gonna quickly go over what the project files are. At the root of, of your project folder, you have these configuration files. Um, these are, I don't really touch this one or this one or this one. This one is the, the main configuration file for the projects. For everything else, you need to, um, if you ever add a new plugin or change the site's metadata or description, you can do so here. Uh, for now, it comes with a set of default plugins. I'll link you to the description to what they are. They basically are functionalities to set up um, basic website, uh, like the React Helmets, which does the meta tags and stuff. So um, it's very easy. So now let's test out, test out our project. If we go to npm start, in our projects, you will see that Gatsby will set up a server, a local development server with uh, instant reload, 
So if you make any change in your code or CSS, it will automatically update it on the site without having you refresh it. So in here, it actually starts two servers, one for your website and the other for GraphQL. Don't worry about GraphQL for now. This is an intro course, so we're just going to go here. And you should see that you have a default uh, website set up. And what's interesting is if you click on here, it takes you to page two. So as you can see that React, you don't need to deal with React Router or all that stuff uh, because it's not very beginner friendly. So this Gatsby set all that up for you. So I'll, I'm going to show you how this actually works and how the linking stuff works. So let's peek inside the source folder. And here you see components, images, and pages folder. These are the three main directories for your projects. Components is where you put your uh, components, React.js components. As you can see, each of these are React.js components. Um, you can put them in here. And then there's a special file called layout.js. Layout.js is actually what goes on every single page of your website, such as the header, the footer, or the nav bar, things like that. You put these things in there, and then all you have to do is put uh, wrap children for the actual page components. So if you go to uh, page two, for example, you see that it's wrapped in the layout components, which is coming from here. And then the content will be inside. So the content here in within the layout will be the pages. So the layout encloses every page. So this is a special file um, you want to do. So it, it's a little bit unorganized right now. What I recommend is you create a new folder and then say my components. And then in here, you can make your component JS and component CSS in here, just to keep it well organized. The image folder is where you store your static assets. For, for us, it's, uh, you can link them directly from your components very easily. Um, Gatsby will take care of all the, the path resolving in the back end, so you don't have to worry about it. The pages folder is where you actually go to check out um, to create pages for your website. Now, the name of these pages are very important because when you want to link to a specific page, let's say here it links to page two, this name must match the name of your page. So Gatsby know, automatically will link it correctly when you do that. So that's the only thing you have to be careful with. You can use the link component from Gatsby to do all that. So it's very handy. You don't have to do any React router or special setup process. So this is extremely handy. Now let's go over the uh, plugin architecture of Gatsby. Now Gatsby has a lot of uh, nice uh, plugins to extend uh, the ability of uh, re Gatsby. So as you can see here, we have a ton of plugins from anything you, you can pretty much uh, anything you need. So for us, uh, let's install some uh, a couple of example plugins for us, so we can see what we can do, how we can add an extra plugin to the site. So I want to install the Google Analytics, the topography, and the SAS module to our uh, to to our projects. Uh, things like Google Analytics. Let's see, Gatsby plugin, Google Analytics. So here you can get the Google Analytics Gatsby plugin. So all you have to do is do this, and then we need a SAS plugin. So because I like SAS to do my CSS, um, I'm just going to install the SAS plugin. So this will enable these things to your projects, and which allows you to do much more than the default version. The default version for each component is um, you bring in the CSS like this, from a, like a CSS module you uh, include it in. So for me, I like to do SAS because it makes CSS a lot easier. So I want to add the capability of doing SAS to our projects. So for now, it will um, install. My internet is not that good right now, so it'll take a bit. And uh, In the meantime, let me just show you like what you can pretty much find anything you need on the website. And it gives you a uh, how to install and how to use. So it's extremely handy, and I highly recommend you check it out. So now I need to install the SAS plugin. So I'll give it a second, and since we installed the Google Analytics plugin, let's add a Google Analytics plugin uh, configuration file. So the way you do it is after you npm install, you go to Gatsby config, and then here you can append to this 
array here for plugins, right? You can append a extra plugin. So for me, I want to do GA Google Analytics. So for you, you just have to replace this with your Google Analytics tracking ID, and then Gatsby will take care of everything. Basically, include it on the page and call the script when you navigate to a new page, which is uh, very handy. Now for us, we have also have the SAS plugin. So all we have to do is for SAS, you don't need much configuration. You just need to do this. So this will tell Gatsby that you have you want SAS in your project. So for SAS, um, we're just gonna create a new folder called Styles, and then here you can do your main.scss, and then um, here you can you know add import, or you could just do uh, background. Sorry, do body background black or something like that. So this will um, actually import all of that to the project when you start it. So um, let's get started. Um, in the, that's pretty much what it is for any uh, styling related stuff. Um, here's how you add add in a plugin, and if you want to change the site's title to you know my Pentaco sites, you could do so. You can also add in a description. So these will translate to your meta description. So that's very simple to do. And so our site is done. What if uh, you want to deploy your site? It's very easy. You have to do Gatsby build. So Gatsby build will create a folder in your project roots. And it will minify everything, optimize all your images to make them extremely light and uh, efficient. And this folder will be the folder you deploy to your server. So like Amazon S3 or any um, like server, you can do that. And this will create the, the, uh, the, the files for you to install, to, to upload to your server. So here it's building and it's, build, it's done. So once we do that, you can do Gatsby serve. And now if you go to server root 9000, and this will take you to your sites. And this is the minify. It's not the hot reload version. This is the actual website. So if you view it, you'll see that you see everything in minified, all this inline, all the CSS, um, optimized images, create new icon files. You see like other images within certain size limit, it will transform that into a data format. So you'll save a request. It basically, and here's the GA part. It will basically uh, optimize your website for you painlessly. So you don't have to do anything. It, you focus on creating the content of your website. So I hope this is a very fast and easy introduction to Gatsby for you. And if you guys like me to go more in depth into this system, I'm happy to do another tutorial. Just let me know in the, uh, in the comments below. And I hope you find this tutorial useful. And I'll see you guys next time.